Hey guys, welcome to Coin Nation. I'm Preston. To my OG citizens, welcome back. And if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by. Today, I'm going to redefine what it really means when we say these three words, only on ICP. We often throw around phrases such as fully on chain or blockchain singularity or on chain is the new internet. And all that sounds great. But what are we really trying to communicate? What are we saying? We're going to talk about that today in the context of ICP's unified architecture and how that basically, for all intents and purposes, gives it superpowers in comparison to everything else in the space. So don't forget to hit me up on Open Chat. You can check us out at chat.coinnation.io. We're doing giveaways, prizes. Great discussions on ICP. Also, check me out on X at x.coinnation.io. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it. What if I told you that there exists an entire classification of decentralized applications and use cases that are only possible when leveraging the unified architecture of ICP. No, I'm not referring to things that you can do on Web2 or even things that you can do on another blockchain plus while leveraging Web2. These specific use cases lie exclusively within the domain of blockchain singularity. To make it even more plainly, I'm talking about third generation blockchain type stuff. So let me put the bed and lay the rest Some of the stuff I keep hearing out here, whether it be from people that just don't understand ICP or people that are so married to their existing second generation smart contract platform that they would rather argue you to death than to actually peel back the layers of the only third generation blockchain in the space. So in this video, we're going to talk about things that are only possible. I repeat, things that are only possible on the internet computer protocol. Not something that you can do on ICP, but then kind of do it mixing Web2 with second generation smart contract platforms. Not something that you can do on the public cloud and stay in the arena of Web2, but something that you can only do with the unified architecture that you find within ICP. And these are the types of things that I believe will ultimately become the game changer when the internet computer protocol has the kind of web applications that showcase these capabilities. So let's talk about it. All right, guys, let's get right into it. We're digging into the notion of use cases and decentralized applications that can only be built leveraging ICP's novel technology. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to sound pretty familiar to you because Dom has been teasing the mess out of us with both prompt based engineering demos that are coming down the pipe and caffeine.ai which is a tool that allows us to speak apps into existence on icp so let's talk about it here's an example imagine describing an app to ai something like i need an art marketplace right and in seconds it builds the back end the front end and the database ready to use only on the internet computer. Why? Because ICP's canister model integrates everything, storage, logic, and web serving into a single system. Other blockchains like Ethereum only handle logic. You'd still need external servers for storage and hosting. And Web2 platforms, let's talk about that. AI would have to manage dozens of separate cloud services like databases, APIs, and deployment pipelines. ICP's unified architecture allows AI to instantly deploy apps, something no other platform can do. All right, so let's see what other use cases or decentralized applications that we can discuss that only work on the internet computer protocol. Native internet identity for decentralized applications. As you all know, we have the internet identity on ICP. And let's face it, passwords are outdated and centralized logging systems like Google or Facebook put your privacy at risk. 
ICP's Internet Identity fixes this by offering a secure, password-free login system that works across all apps. But why can't this be done elsewhere? Other blockchains rely on wallets like MetaMask for authentication, which aren't true identity systems. They don't provide biometrics and they're fragmented across decentralized applications. Web 2.0 solutions depend on centralized providers which can leak or misuse your data. ICP's internal internet identity is natively integrated into canisters using secure cryptographic authentication tied to your device, such as your MacBook, your iPhone, your iPad, etc., etc. This makes it uniquely private, seamless, and, uh, yep, you guessed it, only possible on ICP. Here's another one. Dynamic Web3 decentralized applications without middleware. Most apps require a complex stack of tools, servers, APIs, databases, all to connect the back end to the front end. And on ICP, you don't need any of that. Canisters handle everything, computation, storage, and even serving the web interface. Why can't this be done on other blockchains? Well, let's take Ethereum and Solana, for instance. They only manage smart contracts. They can't store large amounts of data or serve front ends, so developers must rely on external tools. Let's talk Web 2.0. It depends entirely on middleware, creating complexity and vulnerabilities. ICP eliminates these extra layers with its fully integrated architecture, making truly dynamic apps possible and without the hassle. Now, am I saying everything is perfect on ICP? No, I'm not saying that. There are probably many use cases where you probably would still have to turn to some of the Web2 stack. But that's where ICP's roadmap comes into play. We have to keep that vision in mind. What is the vision? Blockchain singularity and the world computer. So we are on our way to replacing the public cloud. Let's keep it going. Let's talk autonomous decentralized deployment systems. Imagine an app that updates itself based on community votes. It scales, adds features, or even deploys new apps, all without human intervention. This is only possible on ICP. Why do I say that? Other blockchains require developers to manually update and redeploy smart contracts. Web 2.0, it relies on decentralized DevOps pipelines, which need constant, constant oversight. But ICP canisters are self-contained and autonomous. They can manage their own deployments, triggered by governance decisions or preset conditions. This makes ICP the only platform where apps can truly evolve and scale on their own. Let's keep it moving. Starting to see a pattern here, right? Collaborative docs with end-to-end -end encryption. Now you might be saying to yourself, hold on, we have Google Docs. All right, let's talk about it. Think about Google Docs. It's convenient, but your data is stored on Google's servers, accessible to them and vulnerable to breaches. ICP enables a collaborative document platform where all data is encrypted and stored on chain. Only collaborators can access it. No one else, not even the platform. Why can't this be done elsewhere? Why? Other blockchains struggle with real-time updates and lack the storage capacity for large documents. Web 2.0 solutions rely on central servers, so they're inherently insecure, especially when compared to the novel tech on ICP. ICP's canisters integrate storage, encryption, and real-time collaboration, making it the only platform capable of delivering such a private and secure 
system. All right, what we have next. On-chain WASM execution served via the web. Okay, so advanced apps like simulations or AI tools need powerful computations and seamless user interfaces. ICP runs these apps entirely on chain using WebAssembly, aka WASM, while also serving the front end directly. Why can't this be done elsewhere? Other blockchains, they execute some logic, but they can't host front ends or run WebAssembly natively. In Web 2.0, the platforms separate computation, storage, and hosting, making the process inefficient. ICP's canister model unifies all of this. Same reoccurring thing that we keep talking about, allowing for powerful apps that run and serve entirely from the blockchain. I like this next one. Let's check this out. Self-evolving dApps with built-in governance. So imagine an app that adapts and updates itself based on user votes. No developers, no downtime. This is only possible on ICP. Traditional systems, they need manual updates and even blockchain-based apps. And on platforms like Ethereum, they require redeployment by developers. ICP's canisters directly integrate with on-chain governance, allowing decisions to trigger automatic updates. This makes ICP, yet again, you guessed it, the only platform where apps can evolve entirely based on user input without manual intervention. Are you getting bullish yet? That's my question. Are you in position? Are you eight year gang yet? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, number eight, we have fully decentralized tokenized microservices marketplace. Say that five times fast. I will give you a thousand dollars to say that five times fast. Okay, so what's this all about, right? Microservices marketplace. Developers create useful components, right? Like payment systems, analytic tools that others could reuse. But in Web 2, this requires a centralized marketplace to manage billing and access. On ICP, these microservices could run as tokenized canisters, allowing others to use them directly without intermediaries. Why can't this be done on other blockchains? Ethereum doesn't support running fully independent microservices with integrated payments, nor does Solana, nor does SUI, nor does NIR. And Web 2.0 systems rely on central control. ICP's ability to handle compute, storage, payments all in one system makes a truly decentralized microservices marketplace possible. Okay, next up we have blockchain native email and messaging systems. Now we don't have to really imagine much for this one because we already have something called Dmail built primarily on ICP's platform. However, it is a multi-chain product. Most messaging platforms, they rely on centralized servers, which can access, censor, or lose your data. I know that firsthand. My wife and I share an email. One day we log in, every single one of our emails gone. Try to link up with Google. Just letting you know, good luck with that if it ever happens to you. No explanation, no kind of rhyme or reason, all the emails obliterated. Thank God I was doing some kind of backup. We lost everything up until uh, August of last year. So it can happen. ICP enables messaging systems where all data is encrypted and stored on chain. Messages are private and secure. No one, not even the platform, can read them. Why can't this be done on other blockchains? Ethereum and Solana can't handle the storage and computation requirements for a full messaging system. Web 2.0 platforms are inherently centralized. ICP's canisters integrate messaging logic, storage and encryption directly on chain, creating the fully decentralized and private messaging solution. So it's very plain for me to see the goal that we have as a community is to get those outside of the camp to see it as well. 
So last, I'm going to mention something that I think is going to be huge for things such as smart cities. I know we have something in the works with Cambodia for smart cities. So this is an interesting one to think about. But on-chain digital twins for physical systems with real-time Internet of Things integration. Now say that one five times extremely fast. So smart cities, factories, energy grids, they all rely on Internet of Things systems. But in Web 2.0, these are centralized and prone to hacks and lack transparency. ICP enables real-time digital twins, virtual replicas of physical systems entirely on chain. The data from these IoT devices is processed securely and transparently in real time. Why can't this be done on other blockchains? Ethereum and others can't handle the real-time data or computational demands. ICP's architecture allows for scalable, real-time IoT integration, making it the only platform capable of supporting on-chain digital twins. So all of this, in my opinion, is what keeps me bullish in the protocol. Each of these groundbreaking ideas isn't just innovative. They're only possible on ICP because of its unique architecture. By integrating compute, storage, and web serving into one unified system, ICP redefines what is possible for apps and the internet. Other platforms simply can't match this level of functionality, scalability, and simplicity. ICP isn't just another blockchain. It is a leap into the future of decentralized computing, aka a third generation blockchain. All right, guys, I hope this video added some value to you on your ICP journey. So now that we've looked at some of the phenomenal use cases only possible on the internet computer protocol, it's easy to see why one of my more recent tweets went kind of viral because everybody knows what's being done to ICP in the crypto matrix. ICP is subjected to things such as blackballing, copycatting, misleading, and all sorts of techniques and strategies to keep ICP under the wraps. So with the help of the ICP community, I compiled a list of very obvious attacks on the internet computer protocol, which I will be covering very soon, so stay tuned. Today's scripture comes from Matthew 6.33, where it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things that you need shall be added unto you. As usual, he's got you covered. And I want you to go in peace, send out those positive vibes to your community. In the meantime, between time, citizens, peace.